This picture shows a 400 kilogram beast. Everything on this beast has some sort of value. Carcass meat hides, lips, cheeks, bones, the list goes on. If the beast is bought over the hooks, it allows the purchaser to assess the carcass, making sure that it meets the required specifications for fat age or whatever they can impose as a penalty. Whichever way the beast is purchased, all byproducts are the property of the purchaser. Every successful cattle producer knows how to grow prime cattle. However, when the beast is sold, producers normally have no idea of who gets what share of the end dollar. Processors and supermarkets keep this as a tightly guarded secret. The problem starts when supermarkets give evidence to a parliamentary inquiry. All these inquiries producers are sold out by misinformation. So-called peak councils have no idea of who gets what share of the retail dollar. ABA was so concerned, we've gone to great length and great expense to make a fully adjustable, transparent system which leaves no doubt of who gets what share of the retail dollar. ABA has designed a spreadsheet that enables full calculation of yield percentages and retail profit margins clearly showing the producer's share. Values can be altered for different prices, weights and charges. The MLA and Cattle Council are fully aware and have sat back and ignored the situation. It should be noted that the MLA are not prepared to gather and publicise who gets what share of the final dollar. The MLA tells the Senate estimates that processors would be very upset if MLA spent money on publishing facts that may end up in the wrong hands, for example, overseas competitors. This picture gives an idea of what sort of byproducts come from a beast. Cheeks, lips, tails and hides all have value. A larger beast would have $250 worth of byproducts. These products remain the property of the processor or retailer or a mixture of both if the beast is purchased over the hooks. When stock is purchased in the sale yards, the whole animal is purchased. Sale yard processors and supermarkets are avoiding sale yards and make every effort to buy over the hooks, whereas they can discount for any number of reasons – age, too lean, too fat, too heavy, too light. Discounts are hard to avoid and cost producers big dollars. It's interesting to watch the sheep people retaining ownership of the skins when selling over the hooks. One could wonder why the producer sells a beast and only gets paid for the carcass. Over the years, some people say cattle producers have been sold down the river by the so-called peak councils. One can only wonder. A 400 kilogram prime animal with a dressing percentage of 55% would achieve a yield of 220 kilograms of carcass beef. This can vary depending on the condition of the live animal. Normally, there are three main ways for retailers, supermarkets to purchase beef. The animal is purchased live, a carcass is purchased over the hooks, and the third is to buy box meat. For example, if a 400 kilogram beef sells at $1.50 per kilogram live weight, it would bring $600. If it's purchased over the hooks at 55% retrieval, one could expect the value to be $2.73 a kilogram dressed weight. At $2 a kilogram live, one would be paid $3.64 or a return of $800. The spreadsheet calculator is designed so that the person using the spreadsheet can input prices received for stock and then change the retail price of meat as required. As any factors are changed, the spreadsheet will automatically update. The point is, if someone wants to change the price of the beast, the weight of the beast or retail pricing, you can make your own adjustments. This slide shows a carcass weight of 220 kilograms with a dress weight price of $3.80 a kilogram, giving a total purchase price of $836. The spreadsheet then shows a retail margin of 53% and the producer's share at 35%. 
On the calculator, we've made an adjustment taking carcass weight up to 250 kilograms and dress weight price at $2.80 a kilogram. As you can see, the retail margin is now 63% and the producer's share is only 26%. Box meat. Retailers and supermarkets can buy whichever they like. Box meat is a very common way to buy meat as there are no killing charges and no boning charges. Supermarkets buy such large quantities they can dictate price. If a processor gets a glut of a certain product, the supermarket can buy and sell at reduced rates. Wholesale box meat prices have no killing, boning charges, etc. 150 kilograms of box beef is equivalent to what one may expect to get out of a 230 kilogram carcass. The total cost is $940 and returns at the checkout come in at $2,244 before costs such as packing, slicing, refrigeration and so on. If one is to look down the wholesale price list and compare it with retail prices you get a sense of the markups. Rump $7.20 a kilogram wholesale price and $20 retail. I fill it $16 a kilogram wholesale price and retail at $40. These figures can be authenticated. Coles claim at the ACCC that the producer gets 53% of the retail dollar while the processor gets 11% and after costs and some profit they end up with only a 3% margin. The ABA's calculator clearly shows this to be greatly inaccurate. This graph is based on the $3.80 a kilogram carcass price. It clearly shows that supermarkets get 53% while the processor gets 11% and the producer gets 35%. The ABA website is easy to access and is very simple to change figures which will give different returns for different costs.